team victory over Wire Trio from Guatemala. Lopez, referee stop contest and two big convincing wins. Convincing as well from the Souza. The man in red from Cuba is a, a specialist. Here Darlan from Norway is the match referee. We've got judges from five nations in the panel for this. They are from Kazakhstan, Korea, Chinese Taipei, Poland and Bulgaria. Lopez looking to make it a hat-trick of Pan Am Games gold. Oh. He'll be studious. He'll be respectful of D'Souza. Brazil have really put a strong team into this Pan Am Games. Nine of the 13 finals. We've got Brazilians in them. This is the eighth that we've seen. But this is a tough, tough test for him. Shows that snakes up, a jab out. It's not a jab, it's, a, it's almost a straight left. Real power in every one of his punches. That's the, the strength of the man. Beautifully built for, for this weight category. Stronger for torso. Quick on his feet, perfect balance. Sousa has his work cut out, but he's, he's had a fine competition. Sousa Pereira. Exchange of those jabs. Cuban who's getting his through the guard. Of uh, Andre de Souza in the early stages. And the body shot as well, hitting its mark. Look at the chin. All the kind of stuff that the judges love. Another gets through. So, so quick. Right, are getting through with that far too easily for D'Souza's liking, I'm sure. So difficult to stop, and when the right's not there, he's cupping him on the left. And then Lopez, in a couple of his bouts, you've seen him really not come in fully, fully focused in the first round, and he's needed to do some work in the second. His attention is fully on this bout. Tags his man with, with the opening jab and then on the way back and again that right comes through. That's a fine round by the Cuban and acknowledges the work of De Souza Pereira. That left seems to come out of nowhere. Tagging his man. Difficult opponent. Oh, five judges, quite rightly, on the side of Arlen Lopez Cardona. That was a fine first round. In complete control. It's up to Vondelay to try and change how this bout goes. To the chops of the Cuban. He is up for this. He acknowledges the work of the Brazilian, the Souza. Plenty of respect there. When there's respect there. His boxing has got that little bit of extra edge. 
Souza must respond in this round. Must. and balance from Lopez very good and then when he attacks it's a left right both which land the fence is up there when the right comes through trying to take Lopez on at his own game and it's not working looks like Lopez is, is reading what the Sousa's trying to do and he's anticipating getting there first three jabs none of which land two more rights both of which are covered up and then when the Sousa comes in Lopez the right and the left both connecting in the first round for the Cuban in red he's surgical in what he does right uppercut to the body and then a left over the top final minute of the a second round in which Lopez once again has been terrific Sousa comes in and the response is a, a one, two, three. Sousa facing a master, chasing a hat trick of titles, he is motivated for this. Left gets through, misses, oh, misses two in a row. That's, that's not happened too often for Lopez. So he follows up with a good right and a, a left to the body. Fabulous boxing round from Arlen de Souza. Sympathies for the Brazilian. He acknowledges on his way back. Said, "How can how can I get around you?" All five judges in favour of the Cuban in the first round. Four in favour of him in the second. One has judged it just about equal. Uh, Chinese Taipei judge Lin Chia Chan. Four judges have him two rounds to the good. And the 30 year old from Guantanamo. And good for a hat trick of Pan American Games gold doesn't lose many finals to Olympic gold gold in the world championships in Doha 2015 to Pan American gold Pan American championship gold in 2017 world junior championship gold gosh that's how far he's been involved world junior champion in 2009 14 years ago and he's been on top of the world ever since Educational for Bondele Pereira. But he tried to outbox Marlon Lopez. Not many do that. Very few do that. Three 
midway through the second, uh, through the final round, sorry. And Lopez continues to box. It's not spectacular, it's surgical, it's clinical. It's point accumulation, it's fantastic defense, it's quick hands, it's knowing when to attack and where to attack. Her up as uh, D'Souza tries to penetrate the guard. Final minute of what will be a comprehensive victory for Arlen Lo Lopez and a hat trick of Pan Am titles. Good body shot from D'Souza. He's coming in a little bit more in this third round. Taking the fight to Lopez, opening himself up to that kind of counter. That's a punishing right to the, to the kidneys. 20 seconds away from another gold medal, and it's another masterclass from Arlen Lopez. He's looking to finish with a big left. Brave performance by Vondelay Pereira. But when he comes through, the Cuban just responds a little bit more. Big hug of respect. The Cuban knows that he's done enough. Whether it's unanimous, we'll find out in a, a short while. But it's a, a hat trick of Pan American Games gold medals. Pereira, it's, a, it's an excellent Pan Am Games, but he's just come up against a master craftsman. The winner by unanimous decision in 2023 Pan American Games champion. In the red corner, Cuba's Arthur. Bit of emotion from the Cuban. They take their Pan Am Games total to 100. And he's uh, gracious in offering the success or the, the hand to Vondelay Pereira. But it is another Cuban masterclass. 100 Pan Am Game gold and three in a row for him. It's one heck of a factory that they have in Cuba for quality boxing. Bravo, bravo, job fantastically done. And just surgical. Andre Pereira tried to have boxing say that's a mistake because <laughs> if you leave yourself open Lopez can destroy you trying to outbox him he was himself easily outboxed unanimous but a, a good final round for Vondelay de Souza when we look at this we'll see the judges have given the final round to D'Souza. In fact, three of the five. And the Bulgarian giving all three rounds to Marlon Lopez. But he'd won this. 